the golden boy who has it all. You caught teasing glimpses of him in magazines, at cricket matches, and it was enough to start a female hysteria. Sought after by any girl with a drop of romance in her veins, Siddhartha Malia, you are India's most desirable. So lovely to have you here. This is your first chat show? Absolutely, and it's a pleasure to be here with you as well. Thank you. <laughs> Let me start unwrapping my gift to the female population. <laughs> Siddhartha with an A. It has to be with an A. Has to be with an A. Okay, now tell me something. You led uh, uh, an academic life in London and returned to India at the age of 22. What did you feel about the sudden onslaught of, of uh, media attention? It was a big adjustment. It was a big change. In the UK, I could sort of go about my business and do my own thing without having to worry about a pair of eyes watching me. That's right. And that's something that probably took a lot longer to get used to here. I'm, yeah, it was, it was different. It was definitely different. But uh, I think, I mean, the interest in you is, is justified because just look at you, 24, gorgeous, stunning to look at. Am I right? Yes! <laughs> and, Inheriting a lifestyle and business of titanic proportions. I mean, it doesn't come more glamorous than that, Siddhartha. Yeah, of course. I mean, it is glamorous. I mean, the yes. work we do is glamorous, but it's not a lifestyle that would have come about if hard work hadn't been put into it. Unfortunately, I never saw the hard work my grandfather put into it, which is a big regret of mine. I never had the opportunity to meet him. But I see the hard work my father puts into the business, and I know that, you know, I'm going to have to put in even more work to sustain what he's already built and take it in the path that I want it to go. Siddhartha, you have homes in 26 countries across the globe. The most beautiful homes. An airline and an array of jets. You have a fleet of yachts, thousands of price cars, stud farm, and all these uh, magnificent things. Tell me, are you aware of all that lies in the Malia Kingdom? Of course I'm aware of a lot of things. Occasionally, Dad will come out with something and say, oh, by the way, and then you'll be like, hmm. Why didn't I know about this sooner? And um, you know how it is. There's always a few surprises around the corner. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fully aware. And I know, that, I know the magnitude of everything, yeah. You, have you been to all the 26 homes in different countries? <laughs> I think I've been to about 24. What does all this wealth mean to you? Nothing. Nothing. Because on two levels, okay, I'll give it to you honestly, is that one, I haven't earned the wealth. Ask me the same question in 25 years' time, I'd probably give you an entirely different answer. But if I'm going to talk honestly today as a 24-year-old who's just moved back to India, all this wealth shows is the magnitude of success that my father and grandfather have achieved. And all it shows is a benchmark of what I have to achieve. Um, you know, I'm not content being just another Malia. Um, you know, to me, the name Siddhartha is a hell of a lot more important than the name Malia. And when I'm remembered for that, then I'll be happy with what I have, but not just because I was fortunate enough to be born into a family. So to me, the wealth doesn't mean anything. Okay. One thing people envy you a lot, I mean, apart from all these other things you have, is the collection of sports. Um, I mean, you have the cricket, you have the yeah. IPL, you also have the derby, you have Formula One, a football club as well. Which excites you the most? The cricket. The cricket. The cricket's the, the closest IPL. to me. RCB is the closest to me. I mean, Royal Challenges to me is my first priority, and um, when we win, it's a euphoric feeling. Imagine. When you lose, it really hurts, really, it really, really hurts. hurts. And um, a lot of people have said that I need to detach myself slightly because I get too involved and too emotionally attached. Mm. I think that's been a problem with me, but um, you know, I mean, I guess if you're not emotionally attached to something and if you don't love the product enough, it's never gonna succeed. Siddhartha, strangely, when it comes to your own game, you don't choose any of the sports you own, you, run the marathon. Uh, it's like Forrest Gump. <laughs> and I've always wanted to run a marathon in my life. I was always, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, you set goals in your life that I must do this, I must do that. So I started training. We got in touch with this trainer from Bandra. He said, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I don't think in the time that we have, you're going to be 100% for the Mumbai marathon. Even dad was like, hmm, I think you're biting off more than you can chew here. I think you should do the half marathon. I mean, I'm really stubborn. I was like, do you know what? No, I can do it. I will do it. I'll prove to you. I'll see you at the finish line. Be waiting for me with a cold pint. But then I started and it was just the most incredible experience ever. And I can't begin to tell you the feeling of accomplishment afterwards is just 
through the roof. You see, to me, this, this is very revealing about you, Siddhartha. I don't know if you've thought about it, but I've thought about it. You know, a marathon means a long and arduous undertaking, solitary. You have all these sports teams, you have all these luxurious modes of travel, and yet you choose to do it alone on your own two feet. Does that tell us something about you? Well, I hope so. I mean, I think the marathon, I think what it's proved more than anything is that I've got a lot of willpower. I'm strong enough mentally, physically to do anything. And you will do it your way. And I will do it my way. You know, a lot of sons of billionaires, so to speak, you know, have enjoyed themselves and have a good time before they get into corporate life. Have you got the play out of your system before you joined corporate life? Probably not. Probably I'm only not. 24. I don't make any apologies for the play playboy, play style life that I've lived. You know, I enjoy a good time, I enjoy to party, but I also know that where to balance that with work. Okay, we've been seeing a lot of you uh, with Deepika. I mean, I think she's such a huge star and such a beautiful and poised person. She's a lovely girl, really down to earth. If you, if you met her off the street, you wouldn't be able to tell who she is and that she's a star. And this is actually quite funny. I mean, the first time I met her, I didn't actually meet her. Was it, was it, was it, was it 2000? What in are we Bangalore. now going to? No, that's actually not true. I'd seen her, and this is what I've been told, okay, so don't hold this against me, I don't know. But when I used to go back to Bangalore in all these school holidays, apparently I'd seen her at the Derby. Ah. Or I'd seen people at the Derby and apparently inquired, but I'd never remember ever meeting her in Bangalore. Oh. And I remember <clears throat> the first time I met her, she was... She was launching the Kingfisher calendar, so at the end of 2009. A year and a half back. Yeah, and because I'd just come straight from England, I don't know anything about Bollywood, I don't know about that, my apologies. But people asked, uh, someone said to me, would you like to meet your brand ambassador? Because she was the ambassador for the airline. At that time. Mm. And I saw her and I was like, what is she, a singer, model? I don't know, I mean, I didn't know who she was. Is that right? Absolutely. So then? then I said hi. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> That was it. I, I, I met her. I, didn't, I really didn't know who she was. I thought, I've got a friend of mine who was also at the party who's a huge Bollywood, you know, nut. He loves this stuff. And I was like, oh, who's she? He's like, that's, uh, you heard of Dipika Padukone? I said, no. 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 Should I have? And he's like, oh, she's pretty big here. I was like, great. So then when you just get to meeting her properly and being no, able to... No, I got to know her because, you know, last year she was our, um, she's a brand ambassador for Royal Challengers for the, for the cricket team. Is she now a brand she's not, ambassador? She's not no. this year, no. She was last year. On, and that's when I really got to, I, when I got to know her then. Okay. And you've been dating pretty exclusively since then? Else? You see, the thing is, is that the other people I know, I have a lot of friends. A lot of friends who are not stars like she is. So when I'm oh. seen with a regular friend, no one is going to look twice. But if I'm seen with someone who is a known person, of course it's going to catch right. the eye. I agree with you. You're absolutely so, so it's not a case of I'm only seen with her. People like to pick up on the chimes yeah. when I'm only seen with them. But are you in, into uh, casual dating? Is that your style? I am not. A, I mean, I'm not really the type. I, I mean, to be honest, I was never the commitment type. I was never the, the dating type. But a lot of my friends were in girlfriend-boyfriend relationships, mm. and I wasn't really like that. My first proper, I'd say, girlfriend was at university. But she's still very much your friend. Very, very That's much right. my friend. We are very close. Sophie and me are very close. We stay in touch all the time. No, but uh, I still want to know, are you uh, available then? Depends for who. Are you available and open to a new, rom to a romantic relationship at this point? Oh, okay. If you'd like, I'm open to any type of relationship. I don't think it's fair on Deepika. Not fair on Deepika? <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and how would this not be fair on Deepika? Well, you know, when you're seen with somebody and you um, are seen very closely, kissing a person's neck even, all right, whatever. Number one, I think <laughs> you're alluding to that so-called kiss that happened after the Calcutta match in... Um... Oh, was there another one after the Calcutta match? I <laughs> was... <laughs> If you actually, all of you, look at that, <laughs> at that picture, we just won a game, okay? We just, and look at, think of the circumstance. Everything is subjective to a circumstance. I was talking about that one. Well, okay, so I'll tell you, so that, that circumstance. 
We had to win that game, otherwise we were out of the IPL. And the kiss was a must to win that game. <laughs> I think you'll see I kissed her on the cheek after we'd already won. I'm talking about the kiss on the shoulder, on the bare shoulder. Again, I'm going to tell you. If you see I was hugging people around me, high-fiving them, I gave her a hug, like anyone does, kissed her on the cheek to celebrate, but the way that the picture has been altered has sort of blanked out certain features and made it look like that I'm really going in for it. And, uh, you guys believe him? Trust me, if I was really going in for it... And you think that's the only time he's been that close to Deepika? <laughs> say it. What can I say? First chat show, and this is sad. But what's sad? <laughs> sad. You, people have only picked up on okay. it with me and her. Now, if, if, I'm, if I'm out tomorrow night having dinner with one of these lovely ladies in the audience, people are not going to think twice about it. They'll think, oh, this is just another friend. But if it's with someone who is also known, then they're going to put, you know, two and two together. So you do go out with other females? Of course. I have a lot of female friends. Are you romantic about any of them? I'm a romantic person in life. So you're I'm romantic. a big romantic. So you're romantic about all of them? I'm a romantic. <laughs> and then that's another thing, let me just tell you now, is that, you know, I've been told that I flirt a lot. Now, I think I'm just being friendly at the end of the day. There's, 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 there's a fine line between the two. So, I mean, people will say flirting is being romantic with someone, but is it? Have you had a fight with Deepika today? Today? I haven't spoken to her today. You haven't spoken to her today? No, why? I just wondered if she'd be happy to see this, this chat we're having. I don't think you don't she's... mind? Absolutely not. That's why I'm here, isn't it? If someone is happy with what I'm saying on this show, it's again completely up to them. I don't know how someone else is going to react to what I've said on this show. Okay. That's but just helps. tell me when it's going to be aired so I can leave the country. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, who would you say uh, in this country today has redefined their status to become a symbol of desirability? You. Because... Your show, which you used to do before this, I used to actually see when I was coming from, when I used to come back from, uh, from London on holidays. Now you're doing this show. And, you know, this is India's most desirable. And the hostess herself is desirable, and that's what makes the show. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. Okay, in a world where there are so many numerous choices these days of beautiful girls and beautiful guys, do you think it's possible to love one person forever? I'd like to believe so. Mm. I believe that if you are going to marry someone or get with them, then yeah, you should be able to love them for the rest of your life. Is it possible for you to love someone forever, do you think? Yeah, I think so. I think I've been brought up in a way that, mm. that would say so, yeah. Okay. Siddhartha means one who has achieved his purpose. And I believe in the years to come, you will find he was aptly named. To discover more about this fascinating young man in front of me today, we have to see him through the eyes of his parents, the Malias, coming up next. And I'm sure you're going to have a few jokes about what your dad said tonight. I'm going to start with a virgin sex on the beach. Red Oak Blue presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Altrashir. Blue House presents Cine Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Altrashir. Yes, I'm talking to Siddhartha, the marathon man. He also carries the name which makes him heir apparent to one of India's biggest business empires, Malia. What does this heritage mean to you? I actually feel proud to be a part of it because I've seen what's been built up through my grandfather, through my father. So it feels pretty good. <laughs> so let me introduce his celebrated parents, Vijay Malia, 
industry mogul of uncommon passions, a hurricane of a man. He's a flag bearer of what is good and glamorous. You know, he's also my hero, Siddhartha. I absolutely adore him. I'm sure he'd love to know that. Mm. He's a very spiritual person. Very spiritual. And he values friends. He does. People don't really know him for who he is at the end of the day. It's, it's only the close group of people really know what he's about. Mm. And Siddhartha's mother, Samira Malia. Beautiful, elegant, reserved, but very real and down to earth. You know, because you come from a wealthy family, people assume that your childhood must have been excessive indulgence, yeah. was it? No, not at all. I mean, I was in boarding school by the age of 10. I was just a normal kid, and I loved it that way. It was superb. Actually, Siddhartha was theoretically born with a silver spoon in his mouth, <laughs> but he was never made to feel like that. Uh, in fact, I remember that he used to be quite embarrassed or shy if I took him to school initially in one of my fancy cars. So he wanted to be absolutely normal. I don't think he was ever denied anything, but he was never given very expensive present. I mean, I don't think I spoiled him for material things, but you know, I don't think he asked for a lot. In fact, I used to shower uh, presents on him on his birthday. I remember buying him a replica Rolls Royce. And while he'd appreciate them momentarily, he was more interested in sport. And he almost shunned uh, the luxurious uh, things of life and wanted to be absolutely normal. You embarrassed by dad's fancy cars? Because he wasn't in the UK much, so when he was, he used to spend a lot of time together. He used to drop me to school in the morning and stuff like that. And, you know, he's like, come on, we're going to take the Jag or the Merc or whatever. I was like, whoa, let's, uh, let's take not. a taxi instead. <laughs> and, uh, Tell me, which parent influenced you most? Both of them in different ways. Mum was always there before I went to school and, you know, she was the one who really raised me. Mm. And it's probably thanks to her that I'm not a materialistic person. And Dad's always been the one that I've aspired to be like, you know, the larger than life. Someone who works hard and plays hard. With your mother, what kind of a relationship is it? She's a really caring mother. I can't thank her enough, I guess, for everything she did for me growing up. And um, I gave her a lot of grief. I was a... Uh, Real Dennis the Menace kid, to be honest. I was always up to practical jokes, up to pranks, all sorts of stuff. So it probably wasn't easy on her. But when she gets mad at you, what do you do to get around her? She gets angry at me. I'm very argumentative as a person. And in the end, I think she just starts laughing because she cracks. What makes it? my heart melt is his fabulous smile. It just lights up his face. I mean, just look at that smile and yes, your heart has to melt. Very sweet. I was living in a different country, busy with my own business. He was in England studying. So to that extent, I must say that the uh, normal father-son bonding uh, hasn't happened as it does with uh, children who live uh, with their families at home. But I think that there is a very, very special bond, an umbilical cord between us <laughs> that I don't think will get cut that easily. Because um, in times of need, and when someone really needs that extra bit of emotional support, uh, I know he comes to me. <laughs> and, and I would embrace him at all times. Well, that's good to know. Um, your grandmother says that she's awfully happy that, you know, you've joined the family business. But she says Siddhartha's not going to be happy with the salary he's getting. You haven't interviewed her as well, have you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I okay. haven't interviewed her, but I know I, her. I'm a regular employee. I'm um, paid on the same level as anyone else would be on that. Well, you know, he gets paid a lot more than I was paid. <laughs> of course, once again, I acknowledge that times have changed. But I was on a very frugal salary. I traveled by public transport, even at his age. Uh, well, today I think he's much better off. And in any case, um, if he can't afford something from his own uh, earnings, um, I'd be happy to chip in. <laughs> and you got it on record, but you never asked him for anything. I will now, after hearing that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people are always going to keep comparing you with your father. It's always, I mean, how will he fare compared to Vijay Malia? Does that bother you? Is it difficult for you? No, not one bit. 
Okay. Everyone compared him to his um, father, my grandfather. Everyone said, you know, Vittal has done X, Y, and Z. Mm. Now Vijay's coming on the scene. How's he going to do? Is he going to do better than his mm. father? Is he going to screw it up? What's he going to do? I mean, I think I have proved my worst critics wrong. And Siddhartha is determined to do the same. So irrespective of what people say, the comparisons that they make, I think that kid will stand on his own two feet and make himself proud uh, whilst making others proud. Certainly me. Uh, he's told me, though, <clears throat> time and again, that he wants to uh, beat me at my own game, do better than my father did or I did, and uh, that's quite remarkable. So that's another marathon you're preparing yourself for. Yeah, that's a little longer than 42K, though. Very long. Um, but I'm not happy being second best in anything. I will make sure that I'm better. So if Vichy Malia's style is considered flamboyant, what is Siddhartha Malia's style? Style in the sense that I'd go with the same mantra that he has, work hard, play hard. And if that playing hard means that I'm seen as flamboyant as well, so be it. Well, I think he's beginning to enjoy the good things in life. I don't think Siddhartha's flamboyant. I wouldn't call him flamboyant. He is... He does like his privacy in a way. He loves being with his friends, but at the same time, when he comes home after a long time, he likes to be by himself, just chilling out in his room. And I think that he has absolutely no airs about him. But that's something coming from me. So I wouldn't really care to make a comparison. Um, but one thing's for sure, I think he likes the good life as much as I do. Who's right? Both, actually, both. Mom is correct that, you know, when I go back to my mom's house in Virginia Water, I like to just be left alone. But dad is right, I do enjoy the things. We're both very similar people. We're both complete jokers. We both love a good time and we love pulling people's legs and having a, you know, having a laugh. Oh, my sense of humor, I love a laugh, but uh, he is extremely witty, uh, has something that I never had, and that's that uh, sort of British humor, if you will, and he uses it intelligently and appropriately. Well, I know he used to go and lock up Vijay's secretaries in the re their room and hide the key. Of course, he'd only do it for five minutes, and of course, there'd be a lot of shouting, where's the key? Give them the key. And there's a lot of fun and laughter when he's in the house. Lot of fun and laughter. <laughs> yeah, there is. I enjoy a good time. Um, I used to lock these poor secretaries in their offices. And on one occasion, I threw the key out the window. Um, didn't go too, down too well with the secretary, but it went down pretty well with Dad. I mean, he was, <laughs> he enjoyed he was it. more than amused. And I remember once that another one, I locked her in, and I went and gave him the key. And anyone would have been like, Siddhartha, go and open the door now. He kept the key and put it in his drawer and said, oh, well done. No. And this poor lady was locked in her office for, for a while. Long time. I think she's still there. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, uh, I could see you're very savvy, and I could see you're very smart, Siddhartha. There's no question about it. But do you carry your heart on a sleeve? Completely. You do? Absolutely. I'm a very emotional person in all, in all departments, laughter, everything. Um, I believe one should wear their heart on their sleeve, you know? You shouldn't bottle things up. Siddhartha can carry his heart on his sleeve because he's a very, very open person. And one thing, even when he was small, is... He could never lie. So sometimes I even tell Siddhartha sometimes that you don't have to tell everybody everything, you know, but he's just so, such an open person. No, he's not frivolous. Uh, and I don't think he's overly emotional. Um, I think the last thing I'd say about him is that he's fickle-minded uh, or that he lets um, his, his heart rule his head. I think his head rules his heart. Uh, he knows exactly what he wants and where he's going. And as long as he's headed in the right direction, in the right way, I'd be there su to support him fully. You see the difference between parents there. Mm -hmm. One has said I'm very emotional, yes. one has said I'm not. Right. Now, you will always find a mother saying that because a child tends to open up more to the mother than to the father. I am a very emotional person. Um, but yeah, I don't make rash decisions, I'd say. I do use my head. So what are your priorities today? My main priority today is my work. 
not get sidetracked or distracted by anything around me. It's just to keep the blinkers on and go in the direction I want to go. Where does love and marriage figure? I always used to say to friends at university, you can ask any of my friends, I'm not going to get married before I'm 56. Marriage is not anywhere on the radar as of now. So I don't see myself getting married anytime soon. And finally, a last message from your parents for you on my show. My advice is that when you do get married, of course you will get married for love, but also remember that friendship and respect is also very important in a marriage. And I'm confident you will make the right choice. Well said, just uphold the values of integrity and march ahead with your life. And I'm sure you're going to have a few jokes about what your dad said tonight. Well, the pieces in the Siddhartha Jigsaw are filling in fast, don't you think? But there's more to his persona, because Personality Cafe is next. So come back. What does Deepika's RK tattoo signify to you? Ooh. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eye. Renault Fluence presents Simi Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. Renault Fluence presents Simi Selects India's Most Desirable, co-presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. Yes, it's Personality Cafe, the place where we chill and have fun. Now I'm going to play a game with you which we call Truth Bucket, in which the audience gets to ask you questions. Very good. Okay? So let's go now with Truth Bucket. If you dodge, you will pay a penalty. Ooh, sounds <laughs> exciting. Sean? Hi, Siddhartha. Hi. You look really smart in your tire. Cheers. Who is a better captain for the RCB? Is it uh, Anil Kumble or uh, Daniel Vittori? You know, Dan Vittori and Kumle are both very similar people in many ways. They're both spin bowlers, they're both grounded individuals, and they both tactically are very astute, and that's the most important thing. And they inspire the rest of the team through the performances they put in. They always believe that they should lead by example, and both of them do that very well. So I think we were fortunate, because when Anil decided to retire, we thought we need to buy a captain now, because you need someone to lead the team. Then why not Virat Kohli? Virat Kohli is one for the future. Virat Kohli captain India to an under-19 World Cup in 2008, and Virat Kohli is one boy who will be seen as a future captain. I personally believe he will be the future Indian captain. Yeah. Virat, though, let's not forget, is only 22 years old. Yeah. Of course, Daniel did get injured, and Virat took over the captaincy, and he won two out of the three games he was in charge for, and he did really well. So he is definitely one for the future. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Nikita? Nikita! Uh, Simiji, before I say anything to you, I would like to say, um, I've seen you in your show, Rendezvous with Simi Garewal, and I've always thought of you as an incredibly beautiful woman. How sweet. And right? when I saw you today, I was like, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. And it's you're so looking sweet. amazing yourself. Um, my question is, what does Deepika's RK tattoo signify to you? Um, it doesn't really signify anything to me. It may signify something to her. So I'm sure it has a lot of meaning to her, but it doesn't signify anything to me. Similarly, as someone else's tattoo wouldn't really matter to me. Okay, so does it affect you in any way that she has RK tattoo? No, why, why should it? Why should anyone else's body art have any bearing on me? Okay. 
ओके थैंक यू दृष्टि हाय सुजाता यू लुक फैबुलस टुडे आज डू यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच इफ यू हैड टू चूज टू डेट अ बॉलीवुड एक्ट्रेस हु वुड यू चूज एंड व्हाई डॉज You're not going to answer? Well, I mean, they're all so gorgeous in their own ways. I mean, it would be hard one, to pick. One. Penalty, penalty. Oh. Okay. Would you come here, please? Mm. <laughs> Siddhartha, you have to sing her a love song. Ah. Uh. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You feel like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. At long last you love is alive. And I thank God I'm alive. <laughs> You're just too good to be true. All together now. Can't take my, my eyes, eyes off of you. Well done. <laughs> Lovely. Chirag. Siddhartha, you're the son of the richest man in India. So I just want to know how much money do you have in your wallet right now? <laughs> Shall we have a look? Yes. Yes. Ah, oh. I have. Thousand rupees, a thousand one hundred rupees of spendable money. Thank you. Shivani. Hi, Siddhartha. Hello. I have a question for you, and you can only answer in a yes or a no. Do you love Deepika Padukone? I said as I I love everyone in my life. So yes, on that basis. So yes for do you love the pickup on the court? On that basis, yes. Yes for you love on the pickup on the court. Yes. <laughs> uh can I have a scarf please? Okay, Siddhartha, you have to take this handkerchief and tie it around Shivani's neck but using only one hand. I think he should give you a present for this. So here is a personally autographed hamper signed by Siddhartha. And it'll only be a further boon to your beautiful and healthy skin. Okay. Wow. That was something. That was. That was something. I think we need a drink after. Absolutely. This. What are you going to do? Well, I can make you one if you want. A Siddhartha special. A Siddhartha special. Absolutely. I'm going to start with a virgin sex on the beach. Who wants to present Cine Selects India's most desirable? Co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer. Who wants to present Cine Selects India's most desirable? Co-presented by Neutrogena Ultrasheer.
I hope you're feeling at home. Absolutely. This is where okay. I was born. What are you going to make for us? Well, I'm going to make you three drinks. Okay. I'm going to start with a virgin sex on the beach. Ooh. It's an oxymoron if I've ever heard one. <laughs> it is. We're then going to go into something which didn't have a name, but I think, you know, in honor of you and in honor of the occasion, we're going to call it Simi's Desire. What do you think? Simi's Desire? It's a good one. Thank you. <laughs> These are mocktails, right? Absolutely. No devil juice in these. There we go. No drink is ever complete without a good garnish. Slice of orange in there. Woo! That's lovely. Mmm. Yeah? Not too bad. Number one. Time for Simi's Desire. Wow, I'm ready. So we first of all take this passion fruit. Round Ooh. the back. And I'm going to try something I haven't done before. Bit of pineapple again. It's my shaker. Stop. You want to give it a shake? Absolutely. It's a pro. Brilliant. Here we are. Siddhartha, I'm going to have this because it's got my name on it. Absolutely. This what is about the others? You. The others, I think we're going to have to get some arm wrestling going to get these. Okay, get these that's involved, a good idea. Arm wrestling. Siddhartha, are your drinks ready? Just a Wow. Dan, wow! You put a couple more lines in as well. One, four, one. Ooh! Anyone in the audience? Line? Lovely. Now we're ready? There we are. So, arm wrestling was a good idea, Siddhartha. Are you ready? Yes! Okay, then, let's get two girls. Please come and volunteer to arm wrestle. Okay, let's go for it. Start. One, two, three, go. Remember, the girl who wins will get that last drink named after her. So it's a big deal. What's your name? What's your name? Rinky. She won the arm wrestle. I'm going to call this Rinky's Wrestle. Yeah! Have a sip. Taste it. Tell me what you think. What's awesome. it? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. We also have one for you, which is the virgin sex on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. Thank you. Okay, it's spilling slightly, but have a big sip. Tell me what you think. Awesome. What? Too awesome. And I want a third awesome as well, please. We have a Simeon's Desire here. This is wonderful. It looks wonderful. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So while I have this awesome drink called Simi's Desire, made by my darling friend Siddhartha, you guys go take a break and we'll see you soon after. Thank you. <laughs>
Blue Walls presents Semi Selects India's Most Desirable, co presented by Neutrogena Ultra Sheer. Glad to have you back. Aren't you glad they're back? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. You do quite a lot for charity. I do. Now I want you to do something very unusual. Absolutely. Anything for charity, anything for a good cause. Okay. I want you to make a sketch of Siddhartha as you see him, of yourself. Oh, wow. Okay. Right. Let's get Let's going. Let's go. you're going to come onto our site and bid for this because for one thing it's definitely going to make you laugh so please come onto our website which is www.starworld.in slash ssimd make your bid it's a win-win and you will have my Siddhartha forever his mom said he has absolutely no airs about him was she right yes. Did his smile make your heart melt? Yes! Has he seduced you tonight? Yes! Siddhartha, I want you to remember this day in 2011 when you're wanted by many, not just for the promise you hold, but for the person you already are. Siddhartha Malia, India's most desirable. With my love. You have to take this handkerchief and tie it around Shivani's neck, but using only one hand. If you really like someone, uh, would you make the first move? Why not? I'm the bang, no? Sure. <laughs> yeah, right.